Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Do you know why Siawar suddenly switched on the UPND? You may be thinking that he's doing that for your own good. You must be the highest joker of the century. Yes, everything is all about his personal gain. Yes, he had a lot of expectations for UPND after the last election. Now, all those expectations, none of them pushed through. So the man became frustrated. Imagine taking advantage of already prepared ground. The ground of Zambia was already prepared to usher in President Hakainde <laughs> into Kwasi House. Yes, with Sia One or without Sia One, Zambians already, they were ready to usher in President Hakainde in Chirima. Lungu was going to lose that election. PF was going to lose that election. Sia one or no Sia one, Lungu was going to lose that election. It was the same thing that happened in Nigeria 2016 when President Gulo Jonathan lost, who, who was the incumbent then, lost to President Muhammad Buhari. Anybody who wanted to play prophet would have taken advantage of that uh, situation because even two months three months five months to the election everybody who can manage to read read clearly the political scene could see that president Gulog jonathan already he was losing power even while he was still in aso villa so it was clear to everybody that president muhammad bugari was going to win that election that was exactly what happened in zambia now what opportunities to do is that they keep themselves into that into events like that just to set the record straight for their own personal gain he expected a lot from upnd he expected upnd to hold him in high regard he expected upnd to usher him back into zambia like a king he expected to walk into uh, 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 Zambia like a king and walk out even if he's not coming there to stay he wanted them to appreciate him he wanted them to shower praises at him he wanted them to give him accolade he expected a lot but unfortunately UPND did not celebrate him they did not celebrate him at all they did not even regard him they pretended like nothing like Sia One even existed. What you people don't know is that he has one or two still running in Zambia. But you people are still blind to know that. You people are still blind to know that. And seeing that President Hishirima is a no-nonsense man, he became upset. Otherwise, can you tell me why he should be hammering on UPND are not eating? UPND are not eating. So, in other words, you want UPND to continue doing the same thing that PF did that made them to lose power, which is allowing their members to be sharing collective resources of Zambia so that it can be going into few pockets. That was exactly what, that is exactly what he wants President Hichirima to be doing. I want to know what his concern Ah, No, UPND are not eating. They have been abandoned. How else do you want them to be ca carried along? If not the same way that the entire country is being carried along. 
party, when we Africans understand that party is just a vehicle in which people gain power for the benefit of the entire country and not uh, 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 some, some group of people in particular. How else you want this current administration to repeat the same mistake that the old administration did? So that in Zambia it will be all about UPND, 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 UPND. Just like during the last uh, uh, administration. So, all he expected did not go through. Not because of you. He expected a reward. He expected a reward for UPND. In many ways. Unfortunately for him, President Hijrima pretended like he never even knew who Siawan is. He ignored him like a log of wood. So he wants to do a payback to UPND. And you, a Zambian, you think that he's speaking for you. He's not speaking for you. If he's an advocate of good governance, just like I said, he should be speaking for people back home. He should even be speaking for himself, not for me. He should be speaking for himself. He is suffering more than you. Everything you have, he's lacking. Yes, everything he, he have, you have, he is lacking. So it is clearly that he is not an advocate of good governance. Rather, he has a personal interest, which... <laughs> Sometimes when I remember how some Zambians react to see a one, I laugh. <laughs> you people clearly, you, you, you clearly, you are clearly seeing a businessman whose, who, whose container he was expecting to come back from China <laughs> did not manage to come back. <laughs> The Chinese is expecting to ship the container back to him. They disappointed him and he became upset and frustrated. You see, let him point out at one single thing he can accuse President Hishinima of. Let him point out at one thing, then I will point at 20 things he can accuse uh, uh, President uh, uh, Tinubu with. Yes, let him point out at two things. He can use to crucify President Hishirima. And I will point out 20 things that he can even use to fight to Aso Villa to go and meet uh, 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 President Tinubu. So you people should forget about Siawan. I keep saying, and his abracadabra. It wasn't about Zambians. It is all about him. He expected a kind of a reward system which never came. He thought the uh, UPND, they were going to celebrate him just like PF did. He thought UPND, they were going to compromise and allow him into their circle just like PF did. But he, little did he know that President Hishirima doesn't play around. The man is so serious. The man is a serious man. I have never, let me not say that I've never seen a serious man like that because I know we had Peter be when he was the governor of my state. When I look at President Hishirima, all I see is Mr. Peter Greg Obi. Yeah? And he nearly claimed the presidential... Uh, 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 <laughs> he nearly won presidents in Nigeria, if not because of Pia 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 that is in African politics. But we are still hoping that one day God will give us somebody like Pito B. They are in... Him, Pito B, and the Haka in the history, they are in the same category. So if you think that Sia Wan is speaking for you, then you must be the biggest joker of the century. He can't speak for you Yes, he can speak for you because he has a lot. He has a lot under his feet. And yet, he has refused to step on them. It's just all about his personal interest, which you don't know. Like I said, there is a lot he still have going on there in Zambia, which you don't know. But I know. Yeah? I know, but you don't know. Yeah, I know, but you don't know. So stay focused and forget about him. Forget about him. Forget about him. Yes, he, he doesn't mean any good to you. He expected this government to be sharing money. How can you be owing enough money that even when you sell everything you have, 
you cannot manage to pay back and you expect to be eating chicken you expect to be slaughtering cows and goats anyhow you must be heartless if you want to be living like that like that there must be a little bit of inconveniences you won't expect things to move smoothly at the first run yes anybody who truly want to sort out that problem must have to close a lot of ways in which they spend recklessly and you must feel that heat for things to get into track anybody who is not telling you this doesn't mean well for you it doesn't mean well for you and i'll leave it here if you like you can say whatever thing you, you want remember remember Remember, I am not advising you. I'm only telling you what I feel you should know. You are, if you like, you can believe it. If you like, don't believe it. Eh? If you like, you can believe it. If you like, don't believe it. Say no to see a one. Eh? If you people don't want to be completely finished. <laughs>